what's going on guys, Viper here. Fuck, no, not Viper, not fucking Viper, right? Yo, what's going on guys, my name is Mitchell, and today we'll be going through my Fantasy Premier League. This is the first episode of the new series on my channel. I should be uploading two to three times a week. The um, game before, the day before, sorry, we'll be going over um, any transfers, and the day after, uh, we'll go, go through a breakdown and then we'll just continue that throughout the um, season. So basically, we're just going to choose low-risk players today. Due to the first game week, we're not sure who's going to perform well, who's not. So we're just going to go for people that we know is going to perform decent. So we're going to go straight in with Chick here. Amazing goalkeeper. Uh, he's going to have a lot of clean sheets and saves this season. I like to look at the um, team's first three games. Just to get a good idea, so uh, we have West Ham for uh, this is Peter Chick. We have West Ham, Crystal Palace, and Liverpool. So pretty decent sides. They should have um, a lot of shots, but Chick's an amazing keeper, as I said. So he should get a lot of saves and a lot, a lot of clean sheets, meaning a lot of points. So next we're going to go for the Schwarzer, the cheapest uh, goalkeeper on um, selected. And he's the most popular one as well. What we're going to do, um, forgot to tell you this, we're going to click on team selected by percentage instead of total score. Uh, it just sees who's most popular uh, in everyone's fantasy team. Next we're going to go with Klein and Ivanovic. Two essentials, I think. And I think they'll just be staying in my fantasy team for the rest of the season. Two amazing uh, right backs and they should contribute contribute um, very much to their teams. As I said, they will get a lot of assists, maybe the odd goal here and there, and hopefully some clean sheets. We're also going to go with the centre-back, Koscielny, amazing centre-back. Uh, had a really good season last season, and uh, as I said, they don't have the most difficult of games, so we're going to put them in there. Uh, now I'm thinking, we're going to look at West Ham. So they have Arsenal, which is going to be tough, Leicester, and then Bournemouth. So we're going to get a uh, West Ham defender here, and I'm already thinking Ogbonna, who just got recently transferred. He would be very, very good this season. West Ham, here we go. Uh, Ogbonna, five, only 5 mil, there we go. He's only been selected by 1.1, but he should start... Um, and he should do very well. If you don't want a Bonner, definitely go with Chris Well. He's a left back, I do believe. He's a great uh, great defender as well. We're going to go back up to all players here. And we're going to leave that last centre back. Um, last defender, sorry. Um, until the very end. And see how much money we have. Midfielders, three essentials, I think. Hazard, Depay and Henderson. Hazard takes the penalties. Chelsea should be getting a lot of penalties and obviously had an amazing um, season uh, last year and obviously he's been selected more than 50% um, in people's fantasy team. So he is definitely one to uh, one to get. Depay and Henderson. Depay, obviously the young prodigy, really good. 8.5 mil though is a little bit expensive. So is Hazard, but they, both of them should be able to perform. Now I chose Henderson... One, because he's the third most um, selected in fantasy, but also because uh, he's captain now of Liverpool, I do believe. I do believe. In the pre-season games, he was captain, and he played very well. So he's on some good form there. And we're also going to choose Belassi. Belassi have... Um, not Belassi. Belassi's team, which is Crystal Palace, has Norwich. Uh, Arsenal... And Aston Villa. So Balassi should be able to do well. As I said, um, with the other players, had an amazing season last year and he should be able to continue that form over. We're going to leave that last spot as well to see how much money we have. Now, the strikers. I'm going to go with Ben Teke. The Liverpool got Stoke, Bournemouth, and Arsenal. So Ben Teke should be able to score a lot of goals there. Now, you guys, you just want to look at um, the teams that. Uh, sort of dominated by attack. And I think Liverpool are one of those teams. They have an amazing um, attack in midfield. Their defence is a bit um, 
I mean, it's good. It's very inconsistent, really. Very inconsistent. So we're going to look at the other forwards um, that are from highly um, attacking teams. And I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking... I was thinking of Aguero, but 13 mil for Aguero is a bit too much. We're going to go... We're going to look at Tottenham. Tottenham have Manu, Stoke... And then Leicester. So we're going to put Harry Kane in. He obviously, insane season last year. He was uh, very surprising. I didn't know who he was um, until last season. So we're going to put Kane in there. And then we've got 15 mil left. So we're going to go with my mate, um, Deeney. You could go with other options. Uh, Mitrovic from Newcastle, the uh, newly transferred one. Bojang from Stoke. Defoe. No, not Defoe. Uh, Juf from Stoke. Because, as I say, um, Stoke has Liverpool, Spurs, and then Norwich. So that they should be able to get a couple of goals against Norwich and maybe one or two against the other teams. Um, but I went for Kane, Deeney, and Benteke. I think that's an amazing uh, partnership there. And then we're going to go back to uh, defenders, and it looks like we're going to get Baker. So we're going to put Baker in there, and then we have 6 mil. Oh, not 5.5. 6 mil to spend on a midfielder. We could get Winniyama. He'll play quite a bit, actually. But we're going to look for... Hmm, Kabai. Obviously a great suggestion. A great uh, backup. A Wijnaldum and Payet. Great backups as well. Uh, Wijnaldum there. 7 mil... Mane, another great player for 8 mil. Obviously, Ericsson if you have the money. Chadley. Uh, we're going to put 6 mil on this. And the most selected is Winniyama and Schneiderlin. I would do Schneiderlin, but I'm not sure if he's going to get selected as much. And he wouldn't really score too many goals. Uh, who does Swansea have? They Chelsea. Chelsea, Newcastle, and Sunderland. So we're going to actually go with Shelby here. Um, he actually had a pretty decent season last year, and uh, we'll see how he performs. So he's going to be our bench player this season, so we're going to confirm that there. As I said, guys, you don't have to go with this team. You could have um, a slight variation, but I think that is a really good starting team um, to kick off the uh, the Premier League. We're going to put Kane on the bench as well, uh, due to the fact that... I think Watford um, playing Everton should be able to score. Deeney and Tottenham playing Manu. I don't think Kane was going to score. But we're going to put him as our first bench player just in case one of these guys don't play. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button um, for weekly Fantasy Premier League uh, tips and tricks videos. And, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.